Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about shame. <laughs> so let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, why do programmers like to put each other down by doing code reviews where they expose and shame all the mistakes made by other programmers? Well, um, it depends on how you what you mean. If you mean that the code review is the problem, or if the way that people do code reviews, is the, uh, code reviews are the problem. Let me explain this a little bit. Uh, so, code reviews, my friend, is not an invitation for you to shit on everybody else. Um, it's called feedback and I'm sorry if your mom raised you to believe that you're perfect so that you never have an honest conversation with other people which is another way of uh, misinterpreting what I believe is having so-called respect as I, it's a favorite word of mine which or being polite or being considerate you see these th words are very good words but they also mean different things to different people and to ignorant idiots who uh, call everybody else haters it's usually it usually means that you are always going to have to be nice to uh, to me because i can't emo i cannot emotionally deal with the fact that i'm not perfect and a code review is such a situation where in order for us to ship software that actually works we're going to have to talk about the code that you wrote and if you can't f figure out that even if you were to write the simplest thing in the world it doesn't even have to be software there is a chance that you have a spelling error or that somebody else finds the thing that you wrote less than ideal. No matter how much energy you put into it, it's up for interpretation. If you don't get that, then I'm sorry. Then you have emotional problems that I cannot help you with. And I suggest that you do and go some uh, growing up, some serious growing up, and uh, learn how to be emotionally stable enough to be wrong or to be to make something that is not something someone else thinks is all that good and be fine be fine with that and gen just adjust it personal maturity my friend or personal strength call it whatever you want is necessary because the code review is a necessary step in order to ship working software because the problem is that if you don't review code as a software team it's impossible for you to get to know how to sort of align on how to do things it's a, a platform for conversation related to how should we write software and that doesn't necessarily mean the one person is better than the other it just means that if you see me write things in a certain way then your mind is going to go okay Frederick writes it that way and there seems to be some pattern here maybe that's a better pattern or maybe it's a worse pattern let's talk about it let's see if we can align on how to write better software so we actually become more of a team rather than an ad hoc group of individuals who kind of just do their own thing because if we don't do that then all of a sudden you realize the one person is writing everything in a functional style and another person does it in object oriented style and a third person does it in a declarative or like whatever you know and this is a problem it's a serious problem if you can't align it's sort of the equivalent of saying that we sh when you're working in an orchestra or something like that we should just not play the same song we'll just play it at whatever pace we want however we want it it's not going to create music or it's you know it's going to blow the whole thing up however you can also talk about something that i think is interesting and that is that people do actually go really hard on people in code reviews and things like that which is also something that happens and it usually happens because for each person different things are important and for some people some things are important for some people some other things are not important and that's what's so difficult for people to to accept usually and that is that the thing that you care about other people may not give a shit about and you have expectations and frustrations related to that uh, where you want people to care about the thing that you want and you will throw a fit if people don't do things the way you want them to be done 
Once again, that is personal maturity. It's you trying to control the world in some fashion. You're trying to f uh, express uh, <laughs> your anger over the fact that people are not doing things the way that you think that they should be done. And in a code review, that is extremely common. It, this actually becomes more common, um, in my experience at the very least, with software developers who have strong opinions about things. Uh, they're very idealistic or philosophical or, um, well, that type of archetype of person, I would say, because they they have this idea that there is a right way to write the software and they will actually get really angry if uh, or get like up in your face if you don't do things the way that they expect you to do them because they they lack the emotional intelligence to understand that what is clear and crisp and fully understandable to them may not be so understandable to the next person and that makes them angry because they like they have a mental picture of how they want things to work in the code base and then you come there and do things in a slightly different way and then they get really angry at you and some people are just plain old petty that's a no good one as well where if you give them if they get get feedback on something they they take that as a personal insult and then they try to be strict and on your case because it makes them feel good to be able to shame people or like really put them down or say that things are bad etc etc and this is why the soft skills part of uh, software development is 50% of uh, the total. There, you, you can take this to the bank uh, if you want and this will be true in practically every software company you ever work in. The main two things that the recruiters and the, the interviewers are going to consider when they hire you is 50% your tech skills and 50% your soft skills because software development on average at scale is a team, it's a team event or it's something you do as a group. And if you have a bunch of people who do really mean code reviews or are not so nice to each other, it's become re it becomes a very toxic environment very quickly. And so in that regard, I actually can think it's a little bit funnier because in many, sen in, in many ways, I suspect that people who did a lot of sp sports as kids would be, is they're more equipped to deal, at least in some cases, with this sort of situation. Because working in a team means giving and taking. It means compromising. It means understanding the greater purpose and understanding that people are at different skill levels and so forth and so forth. And people who are very individualistically minded and very selfish, in a sense, are not so good at thinking in those broader perspectives. So, what I want you to take away from this is that well, if you ask about why we do code reviews, it's not to expose shame or make mistakes. It's If that is your perspective, it's probably you who is the problem. You should do some serious personal reflection and grow your, your confidence because, you know, someone can tell you that you're doing things in a way that is not appropriate and so forth. And not because they want to shame you, but because there is actually a need for you to make a change. An example would be if you have a personal trainer. Are you going to shoo that person out for telling you that you should probably adjust your feet when you're lifting weights or something like that? Is that a personal attack on you? No, it's not. So you should learn how to be a grown-up. But if the, on the other hand, if we're talking about why people are mean in code reviews, it's usually, as I said, because they have this idea that the, wor the code should look a certain way or the way the co there is a right way of doing things and so forth and they have a short fuse and they like to push people down because of personal immaturity or personal anger or other sort of issues like all of that stuff happens it's sort of like uh, you know critics and so forth some of them are like in notoriously mean more because it's they, it makes them feel good to make other people feel bad and more than might be necessary. And I give you this advice. Uh, learn how to be emotionally stable. Do some mindfulness or whatever the hell you, you have to do in order to be a well-rounded person that can communicate that something needs to change or something needs to be improved or etc. etc. without 
letting your pettiness take over and then you start shitting all over people just because it makes you feel good so try to make a difference between information or like constructive criticism that is necessary to relate to improve the situation and you just having a having a personal itch that you need to scratch have a great day